Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back doing another Guild of Ravnica Intermediate Swiss Draft League. We've got a Zoni, so we can first pick that. Very strong rare. We also have Flower Flourish, Inspiring Unicorn, Mighty the Masses, Capture Sphere. And those are the best cards in the pack. But we'll take a Zoni to start it off. I Zoni? Is Zoni? Who knows he? Okay, follow-up pick. I'm fine taking the Lurcher. It's turned out to be actually a pretty good card. Uh, more exciting than an Iron Shell Beetle, since it's going to have some pretty big upside. Otherwise, Thoughtbound Phantasm is quite strong. I wouldn't splash for a Zoni. That'd be pretty challenging. But nothing like Super Bomb in this pack, so I'm fine staying the course with our first pick and taking the lurcher over the two drop all right generous stray is quite good for this strategy Lotlet giant is big we dragonauts is great for is it so is piss and fist cyclops and unexplained disappearance is quite good Definitely taking the Stray over the Child of Night, though. I love this card. Generous Stray is great. We'll take it. Uh, okay. So now we can take Barrier of Bones. Otherwise, we have Siege Worm. Barrier is obviously pretty good for this deck, but Siege Worm is a nice big finisher. Goblin Banneret is quite strong. We have a Selesnia Guildgate for splashing. I'm okay taking the Worm, but it's pretty easy to find the finishers we're going to need. We already have two pretty big ones. I think we'll be able to find some more, so let's just make sure we get enough low end. Plus, I just feel like the barrier is quite good for what we're already doing. So here we can take Undercity Uprising, which is definitely good with the Stray. We can take the Temple Garden for splashing. We can take the Demir Guildgate for splashing. There's a Molder Hulk here, which is okay. Not great. A little expensive. Okay, taking the Uprising here. It's a decent chance it makes the deck, especially if we end up with some more strays and things along those lines. Can take the beetle now, can take another lurcher. There's a Pax Favor as well. Demir Guildgate, Bats, Elemental. I could take the second lurcher, I might be okay with that. Or do we diversify and take the beetle, which is also very good with the uprising and just good for this deck in general. I think we'll go Beetle here. I took the first Lurcher over the first Beetle. We'll take the second Beetle we see over the... Or we'll take the first Beetle over the second Lurcher. I like that. All right. Stray number two. I will take over the Guildgate. And the Peacemaker on the Splash. But happily taking Stray here. We've got a great... Undercity Uprising deck already going for us here. Especially with the Zoni, too. Okay, well, we got Siege Worm now. Or we can take the Crushing Canopy for sideboard. Hmm. Canopy's a pretty valuable sideboard card. I think I'm going to take it over the Siege Worm. Once again, I'm going to speculate that we're going to be able to find enough big fat fatties where I'm not going to need the Siege Worm, but Crushing Canopy is a pretty valuable sideboard card to have. Might of the Masses, I will take over Dissident, especially given that we've already got a Zoni. It's just a great card in general. Well, Beetle number two or Undercity Uprising number two, we do only have one removal spell currently. 
which is the Uprising. I don't know how I feel about playing multiple Uprisings, though. It's probably fine. I'm okay with playing multiple Beatles. Hmm. I think I'm going to go Beetle. I think... I think we'll be fine. Ooh, Lotla Giant, huh? Okay, well, as expected, already got yet another fatty. We're off to a good start here in pack one, though. I like it. Uh, don't need any of this. We'll take the locket. Take the black card. Sideboard. Pax Favor. I like that more than Mephitic Vapors, I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty safe. Vapor is a good sideboard card, actually, but I'll take the favor. I personally like Pax Favor. Especially since we don't really have any removal. Braska? This is the first one I've opened, I think. Well, talk about picking the right uh, archetype to go down, huh? Well, it kind of picked us with the first pick of Zoni. Really nice. Okay, taking Braska. There's a Barrier of Bones, Burglar Rat. Never happened. Ooh, Vigor Spore Worm, too. I wish, but pretty happily taking Braska here. Nice emblem. Jeez. Okay. So Necrolisk is pretty much exactly what the sec wants to do. Otherwise we take a Sundew, but I like the Necrolisk. It's a great card. Puts people away. We may wield the Sundew anyway. But we have a pretty phenomenal late game plan already at this point. Plague Crafter is amazing. Swarm Guild Mage is amazing. I'd love the Whisper Agent for this deck. I'd play the Prey Upon, though I guess we don't have great bodies for it. But Plague Crafter is pretty excellent. So is the Swarm Guild Mage. I, I kind of feel like taking the Guild Mage over the Plague Crafter, mostly because it's just kind of GG's with... Uh, a zoni plus randomly gaining life. I actually don't know the answer to this. They're both really strong cards. Really excellent cards, both of them. I, my gut is kind of saying Guild Mage just because that Menace pump effect is a pretty good finisher. But like I said, Playcrafter is great, especially with the Strays and the Beetles and the Barrier of Bones. It's a tough pick all around. I'm going to go Guild Mage. I think Guild Mage is more likely to wheel, but to be honest, I don't think either of them would wheel. Glaive is great, but we probably just want dead weight. I love Glaive, but I think we've got enough fun things going with this deck where we should just try and survive as long as we can. So we'll take the dead weight over the Burglar Rat and the Portcullis Vine and the Beetle. I think we're going to wheel something we want here. Just too many cards that are great for us. Okran Assassin is really, really strong card. Super fun to play. Amazing with Might of the Masses in Pack's favor. Um, and even Iron Shell Beetle. Yeah, it's just just a real, real strong 3-drop. Gorgon is amazing too. I love the Death Touch. Taking it over Dowser. So we're looking good. We are looking real good. So we can take the Lurcher, the second one. But between Lurcher, Azoni, and Lotlet Giant, I think we're good on big finishers. So we may just want the Whisper Agent, which I love. I personally think it's a great card. If we can, I mean, at this point, the lower we can get our curve, I think the better shape we're going to be. Although I could take the Shield Mate over the Whisper Agent, but I like Agent too much, even with the double black cost. It's just, I love this card. I think it's really good. So I'm going to take it. So we can take the Siege Worm. There's a chance it makes the deck. Maybe just take the Dissident. I don't think we need to splash. I think it's pretty unlikely we're going to need to splash, so let's, let's just get the curve down here. Bigger Spore Worm. Well, I love uh, what Barrier of Bones can do here, but Bigger Spore is just a little bit too good to pass. One of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite cards from the format. Just really strong and... Uh, Obviously at its best in this deck, so so we can take Grappling Sundew. Crawforger is okay, but I think we probably take the Sundew. The longer we survive, the better. 
I don't like having these zero power creatures with cards like Under City Uprising in our deck, but protecting Braska seems important. Okay. Got the Playcrafter back. That's amazing. Yeah, this deck is super strong. Portcullis Vine is just fine with me. We already have a Sundu and a Barrier of Bones. And I like I like value. Probably don't need another Pax Favor anyway. Okay, we'll take it. So we're already ready to make cuts. That's a good place to be. I found Urswild Trooper to be quite weak, so I guess we'll take a third beetle. We probably don't need another wary Okapi. Okapi, rather. Uh, okay. So we have a whole pack and we already have a deck. Well, we're in a good place. And we even get a last pick. Good sideboard card. So we can probably sideboard into Sundu if we need it, even though it does randomly have synergy with Portcullis Vine. Maybe we won't need the Pax Favor, though it is good with the Okran Assassin, but we already have Mighty the Masses, and I guess at this point we just need some, maybe some removal upgrades. We basically just have a Deadweight, a Mighty the Masses, and a Undercity Uprising. We can definitely afford to cut one of our Beetles. And everything else is looking real good. All right, here we... Probably, wow, Lava Coil and Beacon Bolt, huh? Probably just take the Burglar Rat. It's a great two drop. Once again, great with Uprising. Would be nice if we had any Severed Strands. Maybe now that I've called it, we'll get it. But, yeah, Burglar Rat's pretty awesome. I'm good with Plague Crafter, too. I don't know if we're going to need the Lala Giant, though it is, I mean, it's a great card. I would rather do Vigor Spore Worm, though. I'm just looking at what's the weakest card in our deck. Like, we can... Amara? Man, that'd be a fun one to splash, but... Uh, I would rather play a Vigor Spore Worm than a lot less Giant, I think. One less mana, and... Can only be blocked by one creature, and the bonus when it comes in. I mean, this has the bonus, too, but... I'd rather have Vigor Spore Worm. Uh, we can probably cut a beetle. Maybe we don't need the portcullis vine. Yeah, we probably don't. Vine seems like an easy one to probably cut. Pell Collector. Well, this card's sweet. Really good. Super awesome for us. There's also a Swarm Guild Mage in here and another Generous Stray. And a Moodmark Painter, I guess. But I like Pell Collector. Really cool card. I think we'll just take it. Guild Mage is awesome, too. They're both great. I'm going to take the rare, though. Well, Status Statue is pretty amazing. I'll take it over Deadly Visit. And I suppose we can cut a beetle. I mean, I guess maybe I should have just taken the Guild Mage over the Pelt Collector. We don't have a ton of high-power creatures. We basically... Like... Playcrafter works really well with it, but we have the Vigor Spore Worms. We we do have the Whisper Agent. So we have a few three power creatures to at least get it up to three pretty quick. One mana three three is definitely good. And I guess it coming down early is not to be overlooked either. This deck is so good. Necrotic Wound is excellent. We're going to take it and cut something. Uh, maybe just cut another beetle. Ochre and Assassin, number two. What a gift. I love this card. We're going to take it over the Lurcher. Jeez. We have the best problem you can possibly have. Too many good cards. Maybe we cut the barrier. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't need any of this, so cut the strongest card, which is probably, I don't know, to be honest, they're all pretty weak. 
I guess a spells deck might want like a maximized velocity, maybe. Uh, definitely taking the guild gate. We already have a deck, so we don't need another Gorgon. Though it could probably find a way to get in this deck, but we'll take the guild gate. Prey upon. Well, I guess we have the assassins, but that doesn't make sense. You wouldn't prey upon that. Um. Yeah, we really don't need any of this, but I guess we'll take a prey upon. I just don't think we need it. Board into it. I'm not going to splash blue, so I guess we'll take Amara. Not going to splash for her either, though we could off a of locket. So we could take the painter, but we could also just take a third stray, which I'm probably okay with. Child, maybe against hyper aggro. Something we can do. Getting the plaza is actually kind of nice. Got the lurcher back, too. Jeez. Hmm. Got a lot of goodies in here. Too many goodies. All right. Well, let's figure out what we're cutting and what stays and what goes. Maybe triple six drops too much, so I guess we'll cut one bigger spore worm. Then we just need to cut one more card. Hmm. It's definitely a creature. Ah, probably can cut a stray, honestly. We have three, so run it like this. Plenty of good stuff for Pelt Collector now. Crafter, Whisper Agent. Necrolisk, Lurchers, a Worm. Looks pretty good. All right. I like it. This is double black. So I guess we want to do an even split. Um, 15 land, so we'll air towards, I guess, black. So I'm going to look at the curve. Whoops. Let's get the curve here. Yeah, we need them both pretty early. I guess we'll probably still air towards black. All right. Obviously a really strong deck here. Not much to be said. <laughs> a lot of strong cards. Okay. Well, looks fun. We'll run it like this. We'll see you round one. Round one, we'll keep. Interesting. Uh, okay, we'll keep. Hmm. So basically, every two set, every play I make, I have to. That's. Pretty unimpressive, I gotta tell you. I'm pretty unimpressed right now with the interface. Pretty unimpressed. Okay. Huh. So can I do something about it, or are you just gonna... Really? Okay. Don't know what to tell you guys. Sorry. I guess we'll have part of the thing cut off because I, honest to God, have no idea what's going on here. This is the craziest thing I think I've ever seen on the interface. Never experienced anything like this. I, I guess I'll relog and hope it works. Well, I'm hoping it's fixed now. It does appear to be. I mean, give them a break, folks. Honestly. They've only, you know, they've only had Magic Online for like 20 years. So, they've got some kinks to work out. Give them some time. I 
kind of like first playing an Ocarina Assassin, but yeah, I think we will. Smart move. Deal with that threat. All right, we're going to play the generous stray. Okay, yep. Let's hopefully draw a land here. Very good. Okay. Dark Blade Agent. Uh, I don't mind using a status statue. I could also just dead weight it. Yeah, I like that more. I guess we can. Beetle attack and then dead weight. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. Cause I'm I'm gonna dead weight anyway either way, but I'd rather kill the thing if I can. I mean, I guess I could have mighted the masses, but I like that a lot less when I've got a Rizzoni in hand. Silent Dart, you don't say. I think Rhizome Lurcher looks worse when they have the Silent Dart. Although, yeah, at this point, I probably just play the Lurcher and leave up a Might of the Masses to save it if they tap out for Silent Dart. I actually kind of like that. They do have Disdainful Stroke Mana up, but that's okay. I'm just going to play a Hill Giant. I mean, technically, put a Crawl Swarm in there. Technically, I could use Status Statue to save it, but because Might of the Masses is plus three is not insignificant. Veiled Shade, okay. All right. So we'll probably just attack with everything and Might that, or just use a Blade Crafter. So five here, and next turn we're probably pretty close to lethal with Mighty the Masses. Mighty the Masses plus status statue will get us there. Got a zoning mana too. So we'll might, they probably concede anyway after that. Or Artful Takedown, huh? Hmm. I think I'm still going to save my guy. Really like that Artful Takedown does not do as much to the power as, as the defense. Really pays off when they do plays like that. The crab and we'll just kill it and be done with it.
guess I could have statued the sound dart too, but doesn't matter. All right, Demir. So, what shall we do? Um, so we have crushing canopy for like flyers they probably have. We have Pax Favor as a combat trick. Critic Vapors for X1s, Lot Let Giant for a big finish. Huh. I don't know. I think we're geared pretty good here. If we get some more information, we can sideboard into more things. Never happened is probably pretty good, actually, against the Demir deck, but I like everything we have, quite frankly. So let's run it back. Uh oh. We're going to have to deal with this again. Oh, I see what you have to do. So you have to bring up... That makes sense. Actually, it doesn't make sense at all, but just thought you'd like me to say that. Um, you have to bring up the game log, and then... And now this looks all funky. There we go. You have to bring up the game log, or else the interface is screwed up. I don't exactly get it, but that's okay. Who needs things to make sense anyway? Whispering Snitch. That's a good one. A foil Whispering Snitch, no less. All right, I guess we'll play our plaza here. Oh, yeah, Vigor Spore Worm and uh, Ochre and Assassin are quite amazing, too. All right, we'll play the Assassin here. So I think now we'll just play, well, we have choices. We can play the Generous Stray. Or we can play the Lurcher. They have a second black mana. It's probably fine to play the Stray here, honestly. I think I'm going to play Stray. Because it at least keeps the Snitch at bay. We also draw a card. Gorgon's a good draw. Well, they don't have the second black. That's pretty good. I guess they don't have to pump, though, so I'm going to take it. I should have thought about that. Okay. Well, making a double play here is nice. Okay. Sure. So they have the second black.
Um, let's see, next turn. Play the Lurcher as a 4-4. Four, four. Or we can just take two here. Hmm. I think we'll just block like this. Well, as it turns out, can't do anything to a night bell predator. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess we play the big worm then. It's big worm time. One card left, okay. So two turn clock, it's gonna be pretty challenging. Might of the masses, all right. Well, as long as they don't get another black mana, keep the lurcher around. It's like, oh, either way, I guess we can play the might, all right. So probably just go like this. Get in there with the dissident. I'm not quite sure we got a, enough gas in the tank here, unfortunately. Looks like we are getting beat down by Demir Agro here. Hmm. It's not what I expected. Oh, just more goodies. Okay. Seems pretty good. Okay. Yeah, why not? Why not pump it? All right. Let's see here. So, loss to Thinger. How about we bring in Thinger to counteract the Thinger? Let's try that. And we got to cut a Thinger in order to do that. I guess this one. We'll try that. Okay, we'll play first. Keep this. So, pretty tempted to start it off with the dissident because though we can't currently cast of Raska. I can do a turn three gateway plaza, hold off a turn or two on the burglar rat and really not feel bad about it at all. And now it doesn't even matter. We've just got everything we need. So sounds good. Pelt Collector, that's a good one. Yeah. Well, why don't we play it? I'm 
guess we'll attack. And we'll play a plaza. And you don't have to sack Nebraska. That's the the beauty of it. I'm pretty tempted to cast her. If we can resolve her, they're in some trouble. So I think we're going to go for it here. Mm, okay. I guess I could have done the Lurcher to pump the Collector, but that's okay. So we'll plus two, and we won't sack anything. Not yet. Okay. Well, let's play a lurcher or try to. And um I think we can sack a land here. Maybe I should have sacked a land first. Okay. All right. Um sack a green mana. Dead weight's good. Um, so if they kill our thing, we don't want our thing to die. So I think we kill this, and then we'll just drop a burglar rat without a care in the world. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so two loyalty versus, because we'll probably want to sack our burglar rat so we can actually play a land next turn. So we do actually have some, I guess most of our deck is four drops, but I want to, I probably should be able to make multiple plays later. I think we're going to allow Veraska to take two. Thief of Sanity, well, card could be a problem. Uh, 
Well, stat statue's pretty good. I guess we're going to kill the Thief of Sanity. So let's... Uh, Let's continue sacking lands, or do we not want to sack lands? I don't know. I kind of like getting the value here. I guess we can sack the rat. Iron Shell Beetle is pretty good, too. So next turn we can go Lurcher and Beetle, and then sack the Beetle. So let's just play the land, and I guess we'll kill the Thief of Sanity. And maybe I want to do it now, so they don't draw into a counter. It's probably for the best. Although, what if they have a pump spell then? Well, if they have a pump spell, I guess it doesn't matter anyway. We'll just kill the Thief of Sanity here. And we'll pass. Mmm, that's pretty good. They have to deal it to me, though, right? Yeah, well, I guess that's kind of nice, actually. They're still attacking Braska, so I guess at the very least, Braska has done her job. Child of Night, okay. Hmm. Now I might be back in the land sacking business here. Double, double lurcher, huh? Well, let's uh, let's tap a land and sack it to Vraska. Get another land. So play land. Play a lurcher. And we'll play a beetle. And guess we'll have beetle pump lurcher. I mean, I don't know if it really matters since the beetle's going to block the child of night anyway. Probably. Okay. Both attacking Braska. I mean, like I said, Braska has really just done an excellent job here of doing everything we need her to do. So let's sack a forest here. Swarm Guild Mage, very good. Okay. Okay, Night Bale Sprite. It's pretty good with the agent. One card left, huh? Well, I guess I can just kill the sprite, too. That's pretty good. Let's kill her. And then I'll actually just play a land and... I guess we can attack too. Hmm. No, I guess not. We're kind of in the better position here, I think. All right. Okay. 
So we'll gain two life. I guess next turn we can attack with a menacing lurcher and be pretty solid. Well, do we need to menace? No. Let's just see what they have. Well, no, I guess we want to sack first. Okay. Let's see what they have. Nothing. So let's exile a... Uh, I don't know. Um, guess we can get him for seven here. All right. Still attacking Braska. He did draw the Predator. So, suppose we can force him to block. Force them to block everything on the lurcher. Oh, I guess they don't have to, because they're at nine. Hmm. No, they do. Because we have the uh, might of the masses here. Because they might not block. And if they do, we'll just kill their whole team. They don't, so we'll kill them. Cool. Got the match. Very good. All right. We'll see you around two. All right. Match two. We got to keep. Opponent is on the play. Looks like playing against some Boros here, huh? Bit of an awkward start, but that's okay. 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 Play the plaza. Ideally, we get forest next turn, and then we can go pelt collector dissident, which would be pretty good. Get a couple tutus out there. Otherwise, next turn we probably just drop an assassin like it's hot. Maniacal Rage, well, I guess at least we have the Assassin. Well, that's a good one, too. Let's try the Assassin first. Maniacal Rage, the best defense against an Okran Assassin, but... They're going to have to attack into it regardless. So, yeah, if they kill this next turn, our options are draw fourth land and just immediately statue it. Or drop like a pelt collector and then statue that. Or drop the dissident and statue. Got some options.
Okay, they had the removal, unfortunately for us. So we got to take more damage here. Let's see what we want to do. All right, well, I guess we'll wait a little bit longer on the statue. Okay. Kind of want a green mana here. Perfect. So now we can go Pelt Collector plus Necrolisk. We can go Pelt Collector plus Dissident. Or technically Pelt Collector plus Lurcher or whatever. I think we'll go Pelt Collector plus Necrolisk, though. I'm okay with that. Because they, technically, I guess they could just use Direct Current on our Pelt Collector and then kind of force us to block with the Necrolisk. So maybe it's smarter to just play the Dissident. It's worse use of mana. But they're going to be attacking with that Halberd here. I'm going to play the Dissident. I'm not entirely sure this is correct, but it's what I'm doing. I would prefer to trade one of those for a halberdier rather than my my necrolisk if they direct current. It looks like they are, which is fine. Yeah. So, like I said, I'd much rather do this than lose my Necrolisk to this Halberdier. But I suppose either way, we're just slamming a Lurcher like it's hot. Because it is. Get a nice little juicy 5-5. Five five. And they discarded a Mountain. Got it. Four mana, five fives. I like those. Uh-oh. We've been justice struck. Okay. One card left. Well, we're in okay shape. Play a, oops, play a Necrolisk here. Oh, they have one card? Never mind. New plan. Guess I could have done the rat first in case they had a removal spell. That would have made more sense. It's okay. Just a land. No biggie. What do we got? Fresh faced recruit, okay. So we'll swing and then we'll play a necrolisk. Hmm. I 
This will drop the Plague Crafter. Okay, sack the rat. All right, we'll get in there. Okay, follow up with Assassin, and we'll pass. All right, concede game one, playing against Boros Aggro. Probably want to try and cut back on the curve to the best of our ability here. Did we see X1s? as well. What did we see? We saw Fearless Halberdier. We saw Recruit, Hazda Marshall. Child of Night's probably going to be good. You can probably cut like a Necrolisk. And I really like Figure Spore Worm though, but we might be able to cut it for like a Beetle or a Barrier. Grappling Sundu. Hmm. Do we have enough ways to win if I cut Vigor Spore Worm? Well, we have a Zony Double Lurcher. Hmm. I'd like to bring in another beetle. Is that possible? Just to cut back on the curve. Bigger spore worm's pretty awesome. Do we need it? I mean we totally just won we stroke them by value there pretty quickly if we can survive. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Is this curve good enough? Maybe do I want to cut like a Whisper Agent? Then running dangerously low on things that interact well with the Pell Collector. Could cut a Stray. And then maybe bring in a Beetle. Slightly lower the curve. Still keep a lot of our high impact late game stuff. Lose out on a little bit of card draw, but maintain early blocker to get us to the mid to late. I don't know. I'm kind of okay with it, actually. All right. I think we'll, we'll tolerate that. Okay, we have a keep. Opponent is mulling. Pretty good hand. Finally get to do some cool stuff with Pell Collector here. Okay.
Mm-hmm. It's a good one. Really good one with the Pell Collector. Question is, do we offer the trade? I think we do. I don't have to here, but... Things dying really helps our deck a lot anyway. I mean, honestly, next turn I play Plague Crafter, I get a 3-3 three, three, though. It is pretty strong. I can't decide if it's worth it or not. I think I'm going to wait. I'll change my mind. They could also just slam a direct current here, but I guess we'll allow it. There's a chance they didn't even do the trade there, but I'm okay with it. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. So we attack for four, and uh, I think we're probably going to sack the dissident here, or yeah. That makes sense to me. So technically we could play around the Righteous Blow by pre-combating the Plague Crafter, but we're just going to swing for four and then slam a Plague Crafter. And sack a dissident. Okay, they did in fact have the righteous blow. That's okay. Play a plate crafter, still sacking the dissident. So now Lurcher be a 4-4, four, four, pretty good. Okay. One card left, so Burglar Rat's going to look pretty good here too. Because I think it's a spell. I think it's a spell. It was. Good. Uh, I think we'll keep the Plague Crafter back. I don't think they... I mean, it's a chance they... I don't know. There's a chance they blocked. I think better chance they didn't, since they're the aggressor. I guess we can attack. Drop the lurcher.
All right. Looks like they're in pretty big trouble now. All right, we pass. Okay. So it can't even block or attack, but yeah, we probably just would have killed it anyway. All right, we'll see you around three. Round three, we're going to keep this. Opponent is mulliganing and is on the play. That's a good draw. So... Play the guild mage. And maybe we trade with the shield mate. I like the life gain, but I'm getting a feeling like they're aggressive. And we're gonna be we're gonna be keeping busy. We don't have time to put mana into that. I guess it could be a Selesnya deck, too. You never know. But they also mulliganed, so it's like we have more cards to, to offer off here. Okay. No play, no land. Well, that's actually good. So, we can go Stray or we can go Gorgon. I think we go stray, it's better sacrifice fodder for the, uh, the plague crafter. Still no play, nor is there a second land. So, alright. Okay, so they are an aggro deck. Huh, Torch Courier. Wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Guess we'll just play a rat and a Plague Crafter. So I think either way, Plague Crafter is probably only getting a Torch Courier. That makes our Necrotic Wound better, too. It's probably fine. Okay. So, playing as aggro again. Well, what did I do last time? I brought in the Beetle... Cut the Necrolisk. Child of Night. And cut a Stray. I kind of like that. Keep our top end. Get some more early game. So it showed us a Torch Courier. And then it was just two Toughness guys. We probably don't need the Vapors yet. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That is good. 
Well, Moles to five, keeps on the play. What the? They were a Boros deck round one, or game one rather. Now there is it? Hmm. It's unexpected. Let's play the dissident. Guess I could have sacked the beetle to the plague crafter. But now I definitely want to just attack and play a plague crafter. Sack the dissident, and I can use the beetle to pump the plague crafter, which I think is better anyway. Okay. So we attack. Plague crafter. Sack. Pass. Okay. So now we'll jam a Gorgon. Oh, I guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess we play the Beetle. Pump the Plague Crafter. If they block or don't block, we're happy here. They do block, so we'll necrotic wound and kill their guy and pass. All right, ended up winning the draft, and I mean it was a great deck. So glad it came together, and I hope you enjoyed it. Be back for more. We'll see you for the next one.